everyone. Welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. And y'all, sometimes I surprise myself because I'm back out here in this garden. Y'all, in my previous video, my garden tour video, I was really enjoying myself doing that video. And I was just about to end the video. And y'all, I turned around and came face to face with Anaconda. And it scared me so bad. But I got in my defense mode. And my defense mode turned me around. Because it was so big. It turned me around. And when I took, I don't know what I was. I think I was trying to use both of my feet to move at the same time. Instead of step by step. And y'all, I fell. I fell. And when I fell... Y'all yeah, was praying before I hit the ground. Because I knew this is not good. And I was praying. And I did hit the ground. I didn't hurt myself at all. I, I didn't even feel none of that. But when I tried to get up. That was the hard part. I was sl slipping because it was really dewy outside. And. When I tried to get up and I was slipping on the dew, yeah, you would think that I would look back to see where the snake was. I was too scared to look back to see where the snake was at. But then my prayers were answered. I was able to get off the ground. And when I got up and I looked back, the snake was looking at me like. And I really wanted to do something to him. But at the time, y'all, I don't even remember if I, I, I don't think I had my shovel. I knew my hat came off. My hat, my hat was over there on the ground. I wasn't worried about the hat at that time. My phone, I, I guess I threw my phone at the snake. Because my snake, my, the phone was right over there with the snake. So I wasn't worried about that either. But I thought about that, that raid I had in my pocket. And I did. I, I, I tried to shoot him with the raid. But uh, he, he slid it on off. But, y'all, I am shocked because, I mean, it's like now they kind of, I was really, really scared. But now it's like I feel a, like a numbness to it. I, I, it was all these emotions kind of mixed up together, the anger. I'm still scared. I know I'm still scared. But I'm back out here. I'm back out here because I am going to harvest. I'm going to harvest some of those. Squash. I'm going to harvest some of those squash flowers and whatever else I see that I can get because I, I know I saw some squash out here and I'm going to get that. But mostly what I'm getting is something for dinner. So y'all come, y'all go with me. So, but y'all was with me then. Only thing is when I dropped the phone, it, it evidently it went off. It shut off because I was recording. So it shut off, and when I picked it up, I was trying to, because I was, was going to delete it. it was, all that screaming that I was doing was on there. I was definitely going to delete that. I couldn't let y'all hear me do it, hear me like that. But um, I am going to go out here, and I'm going to harvest some squash flowers. And I think I saw some squash. I really would like to go over there, and I was going to go and do something, spray mine, okra plants because those okra plants that I told you the um, ants are just having a field day over there on the okra plants they're not bothering the corn but they're on the okra I don't know why they're uh, attracted to the okra so like I was telling you all sometimes you have to look and see if these uh, different varieties are resistant to uh, or they are uh, you have to check to see if some of the different varieties that you choose are uh, insect resistant, uh, or if they, uh, can tolerate the heat or if they are disease resistant. So some of these, you know, when I started looking for plants in some of my different varieties, I am going to be looking for, if, unless it's just something I just have to have, but some of these, uh, varieties I can, uh, you know, switch up on and go to something that is, as I said, is, uh, heat tolerant, is, uh, disease resistant and, pest resistant. Some of these uh, insects don't like certain uh, varieties and some of those are going to be some hybrid 
varieties, but sometimes you have to do that so you can be out here dealing with all of these different um, things in the garden that can just cause you so much stress during the gardening season. It's stressful enough out here dealing with these snakes. So, y'all, let's get started. See if I can harvest enough of these, and if I do, we'll go inside and cook them. First thing I see that I can harvest are some of these onions. I got some onions in this bed and they are laid over. There are about three of them. I see a red one and two yellow ones. So I'm going to go ahead and get them as I move all of this back where I can really see. Okay, so I got some onions. I don't want to put them in my pan though because they are dirty. I'm just going to lay them on here on top of this chair. I don't want to get any of my female and y'all these um I think it's best to harvest these early so that you can see exactly what they are. But this is what they're looking like now. But sometimes if you're not sure, just hit your Hit your beds or wherever the area that you are in and make some noise. Oh, that's a big one. That's a, it's not big, but it's, it's a nice size of the, um, the squash. So I will be hopefully getting a chance to harvest some of these soon. I'm going to get some of these male plants. And I'm not making a meal out of these. I just want to have some as a little snack because they are so delicious. But I'm going to go to a place where I think I can harvest some more easily than I can from right here. Okay, you all, it is really bright out here. I hope you all can see. I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of these flowers. First, I'm going to put my glove back on. I see one that one of these squash right here that needs to just come off. Evidently, it did not get pollinated good, and so it is not any good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll take that to compost. But I will go ahead and harvest some of these flowers. That one's not any good. This one's good. I got one next to it that has some fruit on it, so it is a female, and it already has some fruit, so I wouldn't, I won't mess with any of those. I bought my nippers out here. There's another one has some fruit on it, but these two do not have any fruit, so those are males, so I will go ahead and get both of these. Okay, y'all, I'm back in the house and I am about to fry up some of these squash flowers and I am adding some flour to my pan and you can put whatever kind of seasoning that you want in, whatever you like. I'm using some onion powder, garlic powder, some uh, pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, and... That's going to be all. 
and I am going to add some water to my flour and my spices. And I'm going to give it a good stir until it comes to the consistency that I want. And what you're making is like a pancake batter. The consistency that I want is going to be that of a pancake batter. And you can add whatever seasonings you want. Sometimes I add more seasoning than this. And this is what your batter looks like. Okay, so I have started to heating some oil in my cast iron skillet. Y'all, the kitchen is still under repair. We're getting close to finishing, but not finished yet. So I'm going to be adding... I need to go ahead and turn this on so the oil can be heating up. So we're going to get the oil heated and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So I have the squash flowers right here. I got my batter and I got my oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, I've already washed these really good and drained them. So I'm just going to put them in and I'm going to take you all off so you all can see. Okay, so you just want to batter them up. And I'm kind of uh, letting it drip to drain some of it off, but I want to make sure that it is covered. And then take them to the hot oil. And I had my oil heated up, but then I got a phone call and I turned it down. My two granddaughters were calling because my daughter to call the uh, girls and told them that I had had an encounter with a snake and so they was trying to put me on house video where i could only do video from the house i told them they said where are you at i said i'm in the house doing a video they told me that's why i need to stay in the house doing a video y'all know i gotta go back out there because i gotta get my groceries okay so just bread them up and drop them in you want to make sure that you wash these really good though because, as you know, I have been putting diatomaceous earth on mine. But diatomaceous earth is the one I use. It's a food grade. So I am just putting them in. And as I said, you can use any seasonings that you want to use. You can use the... Um, if you want to add chili powder or uh, cumin or anything like that, you can. Oregano, whatever uh, spices that you, seasonings that you like to use. It's basically the same uh, type of seasonings that you would use if you were frying chicken. Okay, so now that I've got them all in, I can go ahead and be cutting up my squash because I want to batter this also since I only have one. I want to batter that and drop it in. You just want to cook these on each side until they get golden brown. I'm flipping them with a knife, y'all. As, as I told you all, my kitchen's still under construction, so I got my stuff all over the place. So.
You don't want to have your heat too high because you don't want to burn them. I am turning the heat down. And it's wonderful when you're frying up some vegetables and you can drop another veggie in. That is a shishito pepper. But if I were doing meat, I could not drop another piece of meat in because you could cause salmonella. And I left the I left the seeds in the shishito pepper. I did not remove the seeds. You can uh, slice it open and remove your seeds if you decide to prepare some this way. I did not. plate back here that I have put some paper towels on but I am going to flip this again I'm gonna raise my heat up a little bit more because I want them to brown a nice golden Give my shishito pepper a flip. Okay, so I have a plate with some paper towels on them so that these can drain really good. I'm going to drain them really good before I add them to my plate. And if you don't have any problems with your blood pressure or anything like that, once these come out hot, you can go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of salt on top. I would not be doing that. That shishito pepper is beginning to smell really good. Give it another flip. Go ahead and take out my other squash flour. And now I have battered up my squash. This is the yellow straight neck squash. Probably should have turned some of these the other way. Got one more. Here I can scoop that shishito pepper and get it in there. And y'all, you can do any of your vegetables that you have growing in your garden like this. Normally, 
put cornmeal on our green tomatoes. And that's basically all I usually do to them. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try them in this batter today. I'm going to put some cornmeal on the outside too, but I'm going to batter them first. Because I want cornmeal on these tomatoes. But I know some people who only use the flour on their green tomatoes. I like mine with cornmeal. We had spaghetti for, well, the kids had spaghetti for supper last night, so this is what they will be having, leftover spaghetti with these fried vegetables. Those squash are picking up golden brown. Okay, so I think my squash is done. Go ahead and take these out. Let them drain just a little bit. And y'all can do your onions like this. I did a video where I did the onion rings on a short. You can do your eggplant. Eggplant is one of my favorites to do this way. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and drop in my green tomatoes that I have put in the batter. And now I have put them into some yellow cornmeal. And I did put a little seasoning in my cornmeal. I added some pepper, black pepper, and some onion powder and garlic powder. If the cornmeal starts to clump up, you can just go and add some more cornmeal. Because it will start to clump after it uh, gets wet with this batter but these are all that I'm going to do so I don't have to add any more they look yummy Okay, it's time for these fried green tomatoes to come out. Okay, so this is what our platter looks like, and this would be something good to serve to your guests if they came by and you do not want to give them a lot of hot wings or something like that. This would be something that I am sure that they will enjoy. And if your guests don't enjoy that sort of thing, you can enjoy it by yourself.
So I am going to get me one of these or two of these. And I am going to get me one of these. This is hot. That's the fried green tomato. It just came off. I only did one pepper so far. So that was for me. I don't think the kids gonna want none, y'all. I got some sriracha. But before I put the sriracha on it, I am gonna give it a taste. I'm just gonna put the sriracha on my plate and give it a taste. And y'all know I got me some kombucha. This is a my favorite blueberry kombucha. Homemade. So bon appetit. I am going to try. Okay, so I'm going to try the flour first. But I'm going to try it without the without the sauce. Mm. Just like eating any of the appetizers that you pay a lot of money for when you go out to eat and they bring you the appetizers. Same feeling. Got my sauce. Do y'all hear that flour crunch? That is a flour. Mm. Delicious flour. Okay, this is another flour. I'll put it right there. From let's see. I guess I go ahead with my pepper. I'm gonna do my pepper without. Well, I already put a little bit of sriracha on there. Shishito mm. pepper. Yummy. Okay, this is my squash. For you who do not like squash, try this. Mm. Delicious. Okay, I know this is hot. Mm. Yummy. Put a little bit of this sriracha on it. It's hot. You can skip the fish and have one of these. Yummy. With a little kombucha to wash it down. Y'all, I have to have a paper clip because I don't know where my glasses are right now. I know they're packed up, but they're, I got boxes stacked on top of each other. And the Funny thing is, all of that stuff is not going to be able to go back in here. It came out, but it's not going back in. I have to put it in, a, in one of those storage rooms. But here's... Wow, this is so delicious. I hope that you'll give it a try. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.